back to another video today and today we are driving our beautiful Celica and definitely this is one of my favorite cars of the month so in the last video when we did the Celica you guys didn't even get to hear the beautiful engine the 2JZ because my odd my game audio stopped that was just awesome right damn it I know but look at this that is some sound. Isn't that nice? I mean, a lot of people know what the 2JZ sounds like, but dang, this thing, it sounds nice. I like the sound. So, uh, you know how I said this is my favorite car of the month? Well, this my, the next one might be my second favorite car, because I still love these <laughs> Celica so much. Like, it's awesome. So, we're gonna be unlocking the Nissan Pulsar. We get a wheel spin. And the Nissan Pulsar. Ta da! Also, we have another car coming, and it will be coming tomorrow. The, you know, the Purge Hot or something like that. It's coming tomorrow, Friday. Don't you worry. See, it's it's this company, pretty much. We're going to be unlocking the new Purge Hot. It's a rally version tomorrow, Friday. Don't forget it. <laughs> Perjart. I don't know how to pronounce it. It doesn't matter. Here it is. Wow. This is a good rally sound. Oh my god, that is a good sound. Alright, let's go look at it. I'm excited. I'm super excited. So, it's got 227 horsepower, 209 foot-pounds of torque, and it is 2,700 pounds. Actually, not bad stats. Like, really good, actually. Not that bad. And it's C-Class. And I forgot to look. Is it all-wheel drive? I'm pretty sure it's all-wheel Yep, all-wheel drive. So, here it is. Our little rally car. Here's the engine. Not bad. It sounds nice. So, <laughs> I love the vent. I just love it, like the vent on top of the hood. I think it looks awesome. Big trunk, because it's a hatchback. Ta-da! Now let's hop in it. It's got a pretty nice interior, not going to lie. Like, I think it looks nice. It's got a little GTIR on there, so... Oh. oh, that's cool. I didn't even see that. The front has a little pulsar thing. Like, instead of a Nissan symbol, it's a pulsar symbol. That's cool. That's so cool. Like, look up when it shifts. Oh, it just pops. This thing is so poppable. All right, let's get into a rally race. Let's just get right into it. I'm excited. This car is awesome already. This thing is really good in C-Class. Like, you see that launch? All right, so facts. And you've probably, if you've watched um, an AR-12 video, um, you probably already heard this, but I'm going to say it anyway. So, this car was pretty much at the time faster than the like the GTRs at the time so if we are we're just like pretty much this thing was a rocket is what I'm saying so you're like at the time like maybe we'll say which one was it R33 R32 one of the GTRs around this around the 1990s and well late 80s and early 90s um, this thing could, is faster than a GTR, so it's a little hatchback rocket, and I love it. So, 
it's a rally car, of course, you know. We're in a rally race, even though we're driving on the road. <laughs> so, pretty much this thing was insanely fast, and everybody was thinking, okay, this car is going to crush it in the rally. And even Nissan was thinking that. So they would pick races. Like, I'm not even kidding, they did this. They would pick races that they knew they would win. Like, they would be like, all right, so this race is that day, so we're going to race that race. If it's a race that doesn't have a guaranteed win, then they don't do it. It's like the weirdest thing ever. I wouldn't call it cheating, but, you know, it was getting to there. <laughs> so, since they picked the races that they won, what do you think they did? Well, they didn't win. They did not win a single race. This car was a massive failure, and it turned into a crappy, like, what, sh what do you call it? Like, little hatchback. Uh, well, yeah, it's a hatchbox, but, uh, but it's a crappy little hatchback. Like, just go look it up on Google. It's like the... It's, it's so sad. But, I will show you after this race, since, they, since this thing was such a massive failure, they just scrapped the whole entire idea and turned it into a little crappy Nissan Pulsar hatchback. It was, you know, it wasn't anything cool. And it was kind of disappointing. But, they started working on something very special. Now, I don't want to get the name wrong, but it's a Nissan race car, and after this race, I sure will show you. So, let's finish this race. It's actually not bad. Like, rallying, it's not bad. It just sucked in real life. <laughs> And first place with the Nissan Pulse. So, it's a little confusing because, you know, this car was apparently bad. But, um, I did pretty well with it. <laughs> well, it is Forza, so. And it's a really good C-Class car. It's top of C-Class, too, so it's even better. Alright, so let's get to Nissan. And I'll show you what they started working on. They started working on this. This beautiful 1998 Nissan r 390. It was amazing. And it was a really good race car. And I'm glad that they scrapped that and made this because, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, let's go paint this bad puppy and start racing it upgraded because it's good stock. Is it good upgraded? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Hey, where's our house? I'm just driving in circles. Forgot where I lived, guys. All right, so we got black, red, ooh. I mean, eh, I, I thought red looked nice for a second, but nah. Eh. Eh, these are not very good colors. <laughs> oh, we have paint groups, that's a Um, I kind of like white, but I kind of want blue. Ooh, blue looks nice. I don't know. Blue looks kind of nice. We'll go with blue. We got three paint groups. Oh. This is cool. I think we're going to keep it black. Alright, what's the third paint group? I still don't know. Um. <gasps> oh! What? <laughs> Okay, so you can paint the, like, license plate thing. The thing that holds the license plate? I don't... I don't... I did not see this coming. I mean, why not? Let's paint it black. Plain it? Plain it. God, I'm, like, stuttering or something. <laughs> let's... Let's paint... Let's black this thing out with a little bit of blue on it. Why not? Perfect. Who's ready to rally? I actually don't have any ideas for this car. Like, I mean, I should probably just steal a paint job, but... I kind of like painting my own cars. Just more of a fan like that. I'm sure there's a lot of good paint jobs. I just like painting my cars, like, you know. Alright, engine swaps. Holy! We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
seven engine swap. So we got a 3.2 liter inline six, a two liter inline four VV2. Um, I don't know what VV2 stands for. Two liter inline four turbo, 2.6 liter inline six twin turbo, 1.6 liter inline four turbo rally, the engine and 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo and 2.6 liter four rotor racing. Ugh, that's a lot of things. Um, I think, holy crap, that puts it to 8.3 speed. Dang, that's pretty impressive. And that's an A-class car still. That's still an A-class car. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Oh, is this the car that squeals? Uh, we might not put this on, but we might, you know. I don't know yet. Well, I want to put rally suspension on it because it's a rally car. But, you know, it didn't win a lot of rally events. More like it didn't win any of them. So we're going to make sure it wins a few in this video. Kind of like those rims, not going to lie. First rims I see, and I like them. In wheel spacers. Forza. A+. plus. Thank you for giving us wheel spacers. Oh, that's surprising. I would expect more things, but, you know, it's not like a Toyota or anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, a hundred grand, and I think this is the engine that, you know, sounds like a V12. <laughs> or it doesn't even sound like V12, it just like squeaks at you, it's kind of annoying, but we want this top of the line, S1 class. I forgot to read the stats, I'm an idiot, oh my god. Yep. Yep, it's that engine, it's the... I can't even do it. It's like too high. It just screams at you. So let's read some stats, because I forgot to do that, because, you know, I'm kind of an idiot. Okay. It's got 8.4 speed, 6.8 handling, 10 acceleration, 10 launch, 7.2 uh, braking, S1 class, and then it's all-wheel drive. Oh, it's a $250,000 car. I did not know that. Um... So it's a, it got 718 horsepower, 466 foot-pounds of torque. It's, it's 2,400 pounds. So we did take it down like 300 pounds, and we added like, f what, 500 horsepower? That's, that's not bad. Oh, this thing is more of a rocket now. Like, I mean, the engine sound, it's not that annoying. I just don't really like it. Because, you know, I hear it in, like, every Mazda ever made in this game. And we're launching. Jeez. This thing is freaking... This is a rocket. Holy crap. It's really good at handling. Like, 6.8 handling. More like, feels like 10. I mean, it doesn't feel like 10. It maybe feels like 9. I mean, that's still really good. Man, this thing is fast. So yeah, um, we added a ton of horsepower and now it's a rocket. Engine, eh, it gets annoying, but it's not the worst thing in the world, you know. It's like putting a racing V12 in like every, it's like putting a racing V12 in every car and you're just sick of hearing it. I put this in every one of my Mazdas. <laughs> This is my first Nissan, I think, that has it, so maybe I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> so this thing is like the Toyota Celica, where it's just like so crazy that handling feels good, but it's like, it's still insanely crazy. I bet this thing could beat a real GTR now. Like, well, a real GTR. I bet this thing can beat the newer GTRs now. With the ro four rotor, something like that. I don't remember the engine. <laughs> I wish it still had pops and crackles. Like, it's a rally car, but it doesn't. Oh, I think I did this race with the, with one of the Salikas. Oh, well. Same race. 
do it more than once, I guess. This car is really fast. I really like this car, guys. And W. First place with the Pulsar. Oh, yeah. There's the Nissan Pulsar. GTIR. I keep thinking either GTRI or GTIR, so, you know. We always forget it once in a while. Yep. So, um, what I think of this car, I mean, I think the interior, it's not bad. But it's not, you know, my favorite. I, I forgot to be like, tell you guys what about the in, uh, interior, even though, like, I was like, oh, it has a nice interior, but. For real? Mm, it's okay. But, you know, it's a 90s car, so it's changed. Um, other than that, I really think... Well, other than that, who cares about the interior? Okay. I should just stop babbling, shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay, so this car... Pretty awesome. I think it's a really good rally car, stock and upgraded. Like, it's really good, actually. Like, both ways... It, there's no problems. It's good C-Class rally car, and for sure it's a good S1 class, because it's just like the Sleeka. It's so crazy that you just love it, and you can handle it, and it's just... It's awesome. Now, um, what I think is this car is totally worth to get it, and I did not work very hard to get this car, guys. Like, Spring this month is really easy. Like, the Forzathon challenges are, like, not even 10 minutes. No, no, they take a little bit longer. But they're, it's like, usually Forzathon challenges, you know, they give you a long time. Like, it takes actually quite a while to complete them. Like, how many? Like, maybe 30 minutes? I mean, that's, that's pretty hard to just stick on one challenge. But, like, this one... I literally took, like, barely any time to work on it. So, um, and then, like, the rest of the challenges were easy. They got a showcase remix event. I mean, it's really easy to get 50% this month, or this, uh, this week. So, I think you should go and try and get it. It's totally worth it. It's really fast, and it's really good rally car. Even though it didn't win a lot of races in its career, it's still a pretty boss car. And in Forza, it's even more boss. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.